Emily, thank you. A Brown County woman faces charges for a crash that killed a man and injured a teen in Lawrence. Mm, police say the 47-year-old driver from Denmark was driving north on French Road last night when an SUV hit a sedan head-on. The other driver, a 46-year-old man from Hortonville, died at the scene. We're told his for, for, excuse me, 14-year-old passenger was critically injured. The woman now facing charges on suspicion of OWI homicide and OWI causing injury. Tonight, Emily Riley shares new drunk driving data and an important reminder for drivers. If you drink, don't drive. That's simple as that. Drunk driving deaths saw a 14% increase nationally from 2020 to 2021. That's according to data from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. They released new 2021 figures for drunk driving deaths last week. In Wisconsin, at least in 2021, 199 people were killed in drunk driving crashes, and, and it continues on. Tina Baton, the clinical director at the Jackie Nitschke Center in Green Bay, says most drunk driving arrests happen within 25 miles of the driver's house. While there are several contributing factors to the spike, she highlights a few specific reasons. In the 32 years I've been doing this, uh, it's really been, um, I mean, again, alcohol uh, use in general is, is significant. It certainly has increased since COVID. Um, I think that uh, because people are eager to get out and about, Frank Harris with Mothers Against Drunk Driving has his own thoughts. Throughout the country, enforcement of DUI laws are way down. Um, law enforcement is not stopping as many people for drunk driving. Staff at the Jackie Nitschke Center want to remind people to have a plan before they go out drinking. Have a designated driver, have, um, you know, whether it be an Uber or Lyft, we have, we have a lot of options now that we didn't in the past. In Green Bay, Emily Riley, Action 2 News.